דוקטור יצחק דרימר, hello to you. Revealing the secrets of uh, the new medicine, the new health. Um, we're talking about the Hebrew name of the Redel. From your perspective, anyone can feel it or only full trained new doctors that are using new tools can feel, adjust and help people with their radar. So the radar is a non-visible light that carries information through energy. So this type of energy, non-visible light, that leads information, you see the outcome of it, you see the person. Now, when you see the person, you can know how well that person is uh, frequentized or merudar, it's the same word. As better he looks, better he presents himself, as better he is making it in this life on earth, you understand that he is more frequentized. He knows how to utilize this informational uh, energetic light to run his life on this planet. So when you treat when you before you treat anybody, you find their position as as to how frequentized they are and how they're utilizing it. How there are there any basic tools that a layman person can frequentize himself even before he feels aches or something is wrong, just he can do some practical method with himself in order to frequentize himself to feel that he's close to his radar so the energy is being well done within his vehicle as you said right so first of all the first first thing you need to recognize that you have such a thing most people have no idea that they are being frequentized from outside source to inside their brains and their body they're not aware of that so the first thing actually what we do is explaining the person that that's how he's being operated, how his life is being operated, where he's getting his energy source, what activates it. That's the first thing that you're teaching actually human being on, on earth. It means like, uh, I think uh, in one of the, uh, our conversations, Dr. Drimo, you said that like there is a living soul that is in be within our body, our vehicle, and when the, the person is dead, it's like there are a few uh, grams of, of difference of weight that can be measured. So this difference of grams might be this radio, this energetic, so people that are laymen can understand and grab the knowledge? In a sense, where, where your radio is constantly feeding you. Mm -hmm. All the way from the second that you're being formed between the ovum and the sperm, the egg and the sperm, till that red leaves your body that is not functional to receive that red. That's what we call death. So, but that's the first thing you teach. Now, religions teach the people that they have a soul, mm -hmm. and that soul activates them and gives them life. So it's it's in the same it's a parallel thing. Scientists right? wouldn't wouldn't like to be close to any soul. Exactly. So scientists would be afraid of the word energy, uh, human energy, biological energy of the soul because mm -hmm. that would be part of religion in a sense. However, what we bringing from science that we bring a uh, new concept. Maybe it's not new but that's a concept. The concept is human energetic cosmic signature that will activate you from outside in, create through your brain, through your brain, the activation of your identity and gives you life. Life is energy, biological energy, and perspective of appearance and behavior. So that energy, light energy source that carries information will make you you in all ways of behavior. So if you're a scientist, there is a possibility that you can connect to that because 
you are an entity that is being put here or brought here and being run for all directions in your health in your how do you manage on this earth how you survive on this earth how are you doing your path on this earth lamely are you in your full potential or are you far away from your potential so the first step is that people will get to know who they really are exactly the second step that you would recommend so now once you understand or start understanding what you are what you are and who you are then you, when you recognize this informational light energy that runs you then you know if you strayed away from that is that uh, running you in your full potential or close to your full potential or far away from your full potential and that's how you would know through your illness sickness fears the way that you interpret the world the way that you translate the world around you and the way that you are using the resources of earth to your benefits on this earth and others as more you do that as more you know how to work with that and manipulate it into manipulation not in a bad word how to harness that for your existence you know that you are more frequentized or more meuda that will be an indication like feeling that you like kind of feeling that you are fulfilled with actions that you are doing with your health with how you manage that you're doing your very best effort and you're succeeding so what so it's a very good point your life becoming effortless and you're not going against the greed you're going with that you flowing with life instead of going against life if you feel that you're going against life or life goes against you you know that you strayed away from your head there which gives you information energy and power to run yourself here with understanding your surrounding which called earth so when people are going against their life and they're feeling difficulties it means a this is a huge sign that they are going and getting far from their radio perfect so it's more uh, difficulties you have more stuck you are in a sense in everything in your life if it's your health, if it's your relationship, is it your money, mm -hmm. is it your kids, is it your teachers, whatever it is. If it's more that you're stuck with that, it's more you suffer from that. You understand that you're getting far away from your ideal. And you want to get closer back to your potential ideal, your uh, frequentization. Mm -hmm. and then your life becoming effortless in a sense that you're not struggling with life. You still doing a lot of things and you're still putting putting effort but not a struggle that's a big difference so that is the actually the next step to show people where are they on the scale of living are they in the right end where they're having their life effortless or they're on the left hand side and in a sense that they are in constant struggle that goes up all the time and comes into their life time after time to show them that they strayed away from the radar and they're not utilizing the radar, the frequentization, the human energetic cosmic signature correctly. People that are seeing you and they're seeing this new coming book and this new episode of the seminar and they want to do right now one tiny step in order to uh, frequentize themselves. What would be your first recommendation see where you are in life do you like your life are you healthy are you happy are you afraid see where you are how are you what is your your economical situation right now are you good with that look where you are that will be the first indication what's happening with your radio what happened with this energetic cosmic signature of you is it working for you or is it not or if it's working for you how much can you get closer to more and more and more or you are straying far further away from your ideal that will be your first indication and in the next steps we're going to uh, elaborate much more tools that people can do with your help with the help of a, a dreamer center and with their own initiatives in order to find their more 
closer angle to their regular. Absolutely. Dr. Yitzhak Drimmel, I want to thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.